Hi everyone, Frankie M here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the color of flames. So this can be used to make an awesome looking tiki torch, or jack-o'-lantern, or whatever. So the fuel we're going to be using for this is methanol. You can buy it in the form of heat antifreeze. It's a type of alcohol that burns with a very pale blue flame. So this is not the type of alcohol you would want to drink. A few uh, tablespoons could be fatal, so I would recommend wearing gloves while you're handling this. So let's ignite a little bit of it before we change the color. So as you can see, it burns with a pale blue flame, almost colorless, which is good, so it won't interfere with the uh, color we're trying to get out of our metal salts here. So let's put this out. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you three of my personal favorites. Lithium red, potassium purple, and boron green. So what we're going to do is we are going to dissolve these metal salts in, in our fuel, the heat of uh, methanol. So let's make boron green first. So you can buy a boron salt right at a uh, hardware store or a garden supply store in the form of roach powder. This is boric acid roach powder. Um, it makes a nice beautiful lime green when you heat it. Now boric acid actually reacts with methanol to form a combustible trimethyl borate instead of dissolves because methanol is a base, boric acid is an acid, and they react to form a salt and water. But it does not it doesn't matter very much in this case. All we need to do is get the metal ion into our fuel so that we can change the color of the flame. Now you only need a little bit of salt. Um, it does not take a lot. All you need is a little bit of that metal ion. Okay, so we've got the boron green mixed here. So next let's mix uh, lithium red. So for this I'm going to be using lithium chloride since it's uh, soluble in methanol all by, all by itself. Let's get a little bit of the salt in there. Okay. So let's dissolve that. Okay, so next let's make uh, the potassium purple. Now, the reason water can dissolve so many, so many different substances is because it is very strongly polar. Um, now, methanol is not nearly as strongly polar as water is, so it has a harder time separating ions and dissolving substances. So, potassium hydroxide um, is not very soluble in methanol, but it is very soluble in water, so we're going to add a little bit of water. There we go. Let's dump out a little bit of this. Okay, there. Let's add some potassium hydroxide. Okay, there we go. Let's add the fuel. Okay. Now I'm going to go turn the lights off so you guys can see the flames.
Okay, first off, let's ignite the boron green. There we go. Nice, nice lime green flame there. Okay, let's let's ignite the lithium red next. Now you'll start with the pale blue flame and lithium because you've got to heat up that salt and get it to the surface. Mix it up a little bit. There, now I'm starting to see it. It'll take a moment for the color to change. Okay, let's ignite the potassium next. Again, we'll start with a pale blue until the salt begins to heat. The reason you got the green right away with the uh, boric acid is because we've actually formed a combustible boron compound. There, now we're starting to see the lithium. Nice, beautiful magenta red. And let's stir the potassium a bit. There we go. Nice lilac purple. So on Halloween, I put, I put a few of these in jack-o'-lanterns to change the color of the flames, which looks really, really cool. Now I may I may try using these in tiki torches too. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.